I recently had the opportunity to stop by Adventureland in Iowa, where they are currently in the progress of building an all-new roller coaster for 2021. It is called Dragon Slayer, and it'll be an SNS 40 free spin. It replaces their Dragon roller coaster, which was the Hopkins old looping coaster, and they've already deconstructed half of the ride. But you know, it was not a very active construction site. I think I saw two vehicles, not a single construction worker. I mean, I did go on a Saturday, but most of the progress that you could see being made was simply just from the amount of track and supports that they had on site. There was quite a lot of it sitting right up against Tornado. Now what is interesting is that they have left up about half of the old Dragon roller coaster, mainly the lift hill drop in two loops, while the back half of the ride, including that helix before the brake run, is completely gone. One theory I heard is that they had planned to originally have the entire ride deconstructed, but then of course COVID happened, so they had to modify their plans, which brings me to my thought process about where this free spin could be going. Obviously, we know it's going to be taking up part of the land the dragon occupied, but I don't think it's going to be taking up all of it. The exact placement of the attraction has not yet been revealed, but based off of but based off of the site that I got to take a look at recently, I believe it is mainly going to be located where that helix used to be. That's where we're seeing a lot of the groundwork and early preparation, and with such a slim attraction, such as a 4D free spin, it can fit no problem up against their tornado wooden roller coaster. There's also plenty of room there for a station. You can even see they left some of the old footers from Dragon. I imagine that they'll get rid of those eventually, but they probably aren't super high priority because they're in the water, which is likely not in the immediate ride area for the new attraction. But what you can see is lots of markers running up against Tornado, which is another indicator that the new attraction will probably be right there. So if you want my two cents, the reason why they left up half of Dragon is because the 4D free spin will not actually be taking up the land where some of that track currently sits. They're just using some of that as a storage and staging area, which in my opinion is actually good because it shows that they can use the rest of the land that Dragon sat on for another future attraction. A lot of people are under the impression that a 4D free spin is the only thing that will be replacing Dragon, and oh, that's a poor replacement. Say what you will about the ride, but I definitely suspect that this is going to be one of possibly two attractions that will be replacing the old Dragon roller coaster. We'll have to wait and see though. So even though you can find rides like this all across the country. I think it's awesome that the park is continuing to make investments, especially after they went so long without a new coaster. Now we're seeing three new coasters in such a short period of time. So that's going to do it for this construction update of Dragon Slayer. Not a whole lot of progress to report on, but it is early August, so they still got plenty of time if they want to get this thing open for opening day of 2021. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Of course, make sure to stay tuned for more Adventureland videos here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you guys next time.